It's upside down. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> Bouncing on the outside of the crossbars. Oh, rad. They look really yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, they're coming out in droves, bud. Look at that. <laughs> hey guys, Matt here with Boatwright. It has been another busy week. As promised, we're going to spare you from the moving details and we're moving on. So we have though moved out of 53 Commerce Drive. We've handed over the keys. We're done there. Um, everything that we have is under one roof. We are now very heavily focused on operations, building product, shipping orders, getting things running smoothly, kind of figuring out how the warehouse can work for us. Part of that too, we're moving our engineering indoors. So we've been engineering products basically in the parking lot for the last year or two because we haven't had space. We were able to pull the Rivian in yesterday, for example, to film the license plate relocation kit installation guide. Um, and so that was awesome. Uh, and then finally, we've had a few visitors coming by, swing by, see the new shop, uh, and we'll show you some of that. So check it out. All right, so we're stepping away from a little bit of the normal day-to-day, -day, whatever the hell that is at this point, in order to install a production license plate relocation kit on our R1T. Uh, we pulled this in because the weather's gonna go to shit tonight, and then we all hate, work, hate working on slushy trucks. So we're gonna shoot an install guide. We started shipping these kits today, which means we need to shoot this install guide, get it edited and posted on YouTube before these kits arrive at our customers' hands. And some of them are in the Northeast, which could be for delivery tomorrow. So normally this would have happened before shipping, um, but we're getting these parts turned around like same day, the production pieces, because we've had customers being very patient waiting for these. And we wanna make sure we get them to them as quickly as possible. So it's a little bit of a scramble, but it's a super easy, super fast installation. Uh, so this should just take a minute. I've had this 3D printed kit on my truck here for months. I'm gonna pull that off so that we can install the production one for this video. Production parts are uh, injection molded glass fiber reinforced nylon, like a composite. So they're part of this kit, it sandwiches the tow hook, right? So there's a little bit of a gap designed into it. And on 3D, on these 3D printed parts that we did with our printer here, um, they flex a little bit to close that gap. Uh, but the production nylon parts are super, super rigid. So it'll just be, a, it's a little bit more of like a correctly engineered system versus this you know, a cheap desktop 3D printer doesn't really do the trick. Mm. Although, this is held up pretty well for our Northeast winter. <laughs> I didn't have the placement of this like dead on. Mm -hmm. Like you have some, some room, but I was pretty close to this sensor. Did it kind of freak out a little bit? Yeah, or? sometimes it would s just scream at me. <laughs> as long but as it doesn't try to stop because you're, there's something No, and the Rivian you. must have programming. Like it, it screams for a second and then stops hmm. like it knows that you don't want to hear it <laughs> just a little closer look this is these are 3d printed on like our desktop fdm printer um actually these held up surprisingly well um so this is this is now finally installed this is done I, obviously we would normally you'd put a plate there but this kind of allows us to show it off a little bit better um, these are shipping for the rivian r1s and r1t uh, of course we do also make these for the bronco and now the 21 plus F-150, uh, we're working on them for quite a number of other trucks because these are becoming uh, requested pretty frequently. If you've got a specific year make model you're looking for us to support, let us know in the comments. We'll kind of keep an eye on it. That is how we come up with our new products and our, our priorities is, is listening to our customers or potential customers. <laughs> Right, so I just threw up the time lapse that we uh, we captured these guys picking, but it's been a pretty busy afternoon of 
getting orders staged and ready to go. To you guys who haven't received your orders yet, uh, they're coming. We are working against the clock to organize the warehouse, make sure everything is efficient and properly uh, use the space. We had a few pallets of orders go out already today, but yeah, Holmes, Maddie, and, uh, and Chris were absolutely killing it back here. Feel good? <laughs> Feeling a little bit like Fast and Furious in here. We got a mysterious visit from none other than Grant. We just got people videoing. We just got people while they video. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much content going on. It's so much content creation. <laughs> content everywhere. It's kind of bright. It's yeah. I've seen. <laughs> the color's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty red. Pretty yeah. damn I mean, close. There's nothing it's organic really, about that a, there. That's completely <laughs> manufactured. I don't even know if it's chicken, it's built, but it's built right yeah, right. I'm just talking about the color of that. Sauce. Oh, that's chicken. There's, there's nothing. Beef. No, that's chicken. It's chicken. It's yeah. coated though. Yeah, I, I guess it's uh, anyone's guess. That orange is red. I mean, there's some yellow five in there for sure. <laughs> red and five, some red, red seven in there as well. I think. It's giving kids yeah. ADHD. I think so. Well, yeah. we'll see how I turn out. Uh huh. Stuff to be at least able to do like first run production stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in house or like R and D stuff also right? R and D testing yeah. concepts. Eventually, the goal is like this is always kind of going to be like an assembly area, but yeah. we want to be able to have some like lifts over on that side. Yeah, so for got, sure. Especially since you have the, the yeah. entrance right there, so garage bays right there. Yeah. We're going to be able to get the vehicles in, lift them up, not do oil changes. Yeah, <laughs> we're not zoned for that kind of thing. <laughs> People were snapping them up. Where does uh where does it bolt to? The tow hook. Sandwiches oh, that's the set. That's awesome. I, I'm missing my Raptor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have. You got to get a new Raptor R. I tried. Did. Yeah, I tried. I didn't try very hard. <laughs> and then we have an R1S coming. Is that the upgraded oh. Rivian? It's the it's SUV. SUV. Oh, the SUV. So what oh, I might okay. do is swap this for the that. Well, you guys have done all the the R and D on this thing. You need to do. We kind of have. For, yeah. for the most part, right? Yeah. So we've cool. got. Alright, I gotta hop on this scene. Alright, right. it's good yeah. to see you. Nice see you as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Molly panels that are gonna be mounting on the outside of the crossbars. Oh, rad. They look really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like super a really cool. Really cool utilitarian look. Super cool. Um, I got to use those things for the first time when I was in Australia. Oh, yeah? Yeah, those. Max tracks? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looked like a blast, too. Yeah, you guys were nuts. Yeah, it, it looked out of so control. Much fun. <laughs> I come back here and I'm like, Place there's no off-roading out here. The I know, there's nothing. Pennsylvania, nothing. apparently, but nothing near here. Sweet. Yeah, well, it's really tough you. to connect it. Yeah, of course. I have to, uh, have to go help my buddy load his motorcycle. So, <laughs> being a good friend. Uh, <laughs> I just can't leave you alone. I love it. <laughs> We're all kind of I love it. Well, it's, it's not for... Um, Function or anything like that, it's, it's all for form. Look at that underglow. It's, it's just for the underglow. Just, just for, for the, the underglow. underglow. That's even cooler, because I was like, oh, that's an electric scooter, that's cool. No. Just for the underglow. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I think it, eventually the goal was to build it into an electric scooter, but. That's so that sick. Truck horn. Yeah, that, <laughs> looks, those tassels look really good with your Tesla, too. Yeah, well, I mean, this is, so this is Dennis's scooter. I haven't showed you mine. <laughs> all right, let's see what he's driving. Oh, there we go. M3 action shelf loaded up again so that on friday we can be shipping orders same day right <laughs> no. we're doing our yeah. best here they get it yeah all right yeah. but look at this stack good yeah, lord so you guys we are doing our best to get caught up looks fantastic I'm trying to figure out what the uh most efficient system is going to be but in the meantime we're just using these racks to pick and stage orders and then everything's flowing through this bottleneck right here which is our Shipping software, which buys and prints the labels. Gotcha. We're lucky we have homes here for a bit. Helping out a little bit, yeah. This makes the future me problems a little bit smaller. For sure. Garaged. Have you seen that, Holmes? Uh-uh. What? <laughs> this was the elephant in the room the other day. Oh, I saw it. I, didn't, I, I missed the chicken on there, yeah. <laughs> oh, but you saw the planes, right? Well. <laughs> Take it to 7-Eleven. Once you hit the corner. Ride my scooter back while my car charges. Mm -hmm. And not get made fun of. Oh no, definitely wouldn't get made fun of. Not even <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. 
You might get run down. I get <laughs> run down. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like you're trying. Yeah. You're trying to trip us up. Trying to make us seem like testing yeah. weirdos. Yeah. Which we are. <laughs> One day the HR hammer is gonna come down. Right? <laughs> no. Yeah. At 12:53 p.m., you said penis. <laughs> you were very clear about it. <laughs> you you were referencing it. only fan sites, which is not something you should be viewing. You told <laughs> Max to chug cock. <laughs> <laughs> against our company <laughs> policy. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to know where we're up to, it's this. <laughs> yeah. I think we try using the GoPro more, maybe. Let's give it a shot. It has a selfie mode. Basically. It does have a selfie mode. Let's see if Dennis likes it as much as the iPhone or the Sony. I think it's because it's such a low profile, not this big back camera. Is. You look like a creature trying to figure out what the cameraman <laughs> is doing in a Nat Geo documentary. So you guys saw Matt clearing out his corner. This is the consolidated version of everything that was there. Whether it's a Traxxas RC car with a built right shell, half size Molly panels that we accidentally made. Um, yeah, it's, it's all the treasures. All right, so the last time you guys saw this space, there was no sound deadening material up here at all, but the guys uh, went and bought some material. They bought some fabric and some wood and they made these panels. And it already sounds a lot better in here. Still a bit of an echo, just because there's n there's no table, there's no nothing, nothing on the walls. The sound. Yeah. I vote for an area rug, but that got I like shot down. I like the area rug. I don't know. It'd be, it'd make it a little more cozy, but they look good though. I mean, they look good. They need to get clean. They need a lid roller on them. <laughs> but still, so comparatively, we'll we'll drop in a clip of them talking in here before, so we can kind of see how loud that was. I will plan then tomorrow during the day at some point to get materials. Won't sound like that echo soon. But I already hear the sound deadened and you guys can probably hear the audio through the camera. It's a little bit more balanced, but it's still pretty bad. It's I still echoey. With all yeah. this echo. Because It'd be... if you go into one of the offices with carpeting, it is perfect. That's true here. So, so... we can actually hear the, yeah. um, you can hear how loud it is still in this room. So in the garage, the echo, there's no sound deadening. The echo is very strong. But then come in here, where Let's there's see. carpeting and a drop ceiling, and all of a sudden you have no echo, and it sounds it's so good. Sounds a lot better. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's amazing what carpet will do, um, and what hard surfaces will do. But that's why I think we should get an area rug. I like the area rug. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, we found this fella this morning. Look at this shit. There will probably be a memorial tornado of birds going on this evening. Some of the guys saw him uh, yesterday and he looked very sick and was hanging out just standing. But yeah, rest in peace. Man, you can see the shadows of the, the other turkey vultures. Don't want to get too close now. There's a little toe. Well, you never know when it's going to be you. Yeah, very odd. And there's Grayson's tree. All right. Where are we going with? Oh, just this little plot of woods you're talking? I don't know, whatever you see fit as a burial ground. All right. <laughs> oh, golly. Like a hot potato. Ugh. I don't want to be downwind of that shit. This place is going to be cursed now. Hey, hey, get it away from me. All right. <laughs> Oh, they are not happy, dude. They are inbound. Yeah. Oh, God, Dennis. Jeez. Last foot. All right, so I told you guys they weren't going to be happy about their friend, right? You haven't seen the half of it. Look at this. Oh, they're coming out in droves, bud. Look at that. All right, so that's a little bit of the chaos that we've had going on this week. As you can see, we are sort of trying to get out of this, just talking and thinking about the building and the move mode and getting back towards our products and our customers and serving them. Uh, that's what we love to do. The building is just one of the many tools we will use to do that. So um, you will see more of that as we keep going. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, please leave them in the comments. Send us an email. Uh, give us a phone call. We always love to chat. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.
some poop on our roof.